very, very difficult for Ari to uh, compete in. But as we head towards our final lock-in, which does get locked in, let's take a look. 29 at 6 minutes 30. Bottom lane, though, Wild Panda has been caught out. Don turns around, double tap onto Celeva. Actually has increased damage from Wild Panda. First blood and the second kill as well onto Wild Panda. Two for zero, two versus two. Great kill in the bottom lane. So everything nice. there that Anon Cycle did. Yeah, uh, he's not really feeling the pinch of Maokai right now. And uh, take a look at that top lane. Warrior Lady is sitting way far back. Chum the waters in the bottom lane. It will be not connecting onto Wild Panda. He will be flashing away from that one. Dominant comes back in. Very confident play considering that the jungler and the mid laner from the opposing team was just around the area. And speaking of that jungler, he is coming from around the side, but not in that bush. Jumps over, finds himself Ramus, but commits anyway. Insect play onto Wild Panda, knocks him into his team, picks up that first kill. Solar Flare comes out. They'll be able to turn this one around as well. And on Psycho drops. Dominic, can they make it the free for free? He will back off to his tower. Cunning comes through. It will be enough to push them back, but no kills in return. A two for zero. Is that you finally yeah. get to Agreed. He uh, needs to show more, I think. Would yes. Be, uh, the best way of putting that, but something we're seeing more of. There we go, mid lane. <laughs> oh, comes in with the chum the water. Now he lands it, jukes out of the way of the charm. Easy peasy, picks up the kill onto Ari. There we go, take fun. That was what he needed. Landed the third fish of the game. Hopefully, he's run away yeah. again. So at some point, he'll come back for that one. Two hits remaining won't be too difficult to clear away. But Lee Sin has also been spotted, and Warrior Lady will try and juke out the way of the wallet, but it's not going to be enough. Gets hit by the gnarled. Zion's here to clean up. Lands the last resonating strike. And on Psycho returns, but goes for the one on two. Made that a two on two with the roam from Mage Bane. Frollo's through with the charm, doesn't connect. And despite the roam, that's still a one and zero going to Reason Gaming. Reason Gaming's top lane from Kuban is going so well right now. He does have He's to do something, and there's something else that has to be done in this game, and that's a little bit of dewarding here by different dimension up in that top lane because it's allowing Zayu into the lane. Here he comes, has the ultimate, slams him against the wall, lands the sonic wave, looks for the resonating strike, and here comes Chum the Waters as well, doesn't land, and they actually don't have enough damage with that not landing, and on Psycho gets his torn off as well, drags him into the turret. With Mage Bane now heading into the area, can they get a cleanup off? They may be able to, and on Psycho is still full health. Oh, take fun, flashes right into Urchin Strike. Is it going to be enough damage? He's ticking down for the Ignite. Yes, it will. Maybe at the cost of his own life. Here comes the old spin. The Spirit Rush comes out from Mage Bane. That's a one for one. It's one for one, but how much was used there by different dimension? What have they still got available? Because Anon Psycho had to flash during that engagement. So Thanks. the flash taunt is not everything about Reason Gaming. And I'm going to say this word so much. It's all about the mobility of their team comp. Another item that screams Dreams mobility, frozen mallet up on Nar in the top lane. That is an item that has not been bought on almost any champion for the best part of nearly two years, perhaps. And that is going to give them good chase potential. But they do have Libic being caught out here. Zayu, however, is going right past the tower, going to one-on-one -on -one versus Dominic. This has become very, very messy. Culling comes forward. Will be flashed away from by Celeva here, but Anon, Anon Psycho is on the chase. Gets the torn down. That will be a dead Ezreal. Now they follow up the Zayu as well. A wild warrior lady just comes into the fight, picks up the double kill for... Dominant in the bottom lane. Finally, Warrior Lady Should gets himself that as well. He is their star player getting into this game. But uh, now everyone's kind of gone back into the kind of macro game, kind of gone away from this one in the bottom lane. We do have this one on one. Chum the waters this time does connect. Urchin Strike as well. And the tick from the Sea Stone Trident doesn't even need his E as he comes out. Has to burn his flash, but in the one on one comes out ahead. For everything that Mage Bean's been trying to do to hold on to these situations, Again, in the one-on-one, -on -one, he ends up falling, and, and that is not good for Mage Bane. Oh, oh, Reason Gaming could do the same as they move on to Mage Bane. Lands have chumped the waters. That's Anami dropping very low. Is ticking down from the red buff. Zayu follows through, does not land his uh, his sonic wave, but they're still on the chase. They want even more from this. Mage Bane gets taken up for the first goal of the fight by Celeber. Quick exchange on the mid lane as though as Kubon's Dominic here. will be picking up this kill. Kubon is in this fight, but they're actually disengaging. Anon Psycho wants to go back in for more. Kubon is right in the middle of the fight, but has he got anything to do in this fight as Anon Psycho picks up the opposing jungler? Uses an ultimate just to slam away the Ramus. Dominant looking to pick up more kills, uh, but does get hit by a bowler toss. He's dropping low, but Leona just kind of walks in and gets fed to the grinder of DD. Three for one in exchange for the dragon. DD with a, a much scrappier fight than the they would have liked. Fact just completed by Ramus, so 
He is uh, in a pretty good place when it comes to the tankiness. And I'm looking at the top lane as it is now being sieged in by Reason Gaming. Take Fun has used his escape already. Still has the Zonias if he needs it. But here comes the ultimate. And he all in the flash and the taunt. He's dead and gone. And taken away by TD. A little bit over aggressive by Take Fun, but the chase is still on here. Different Dimension have a lot of uh, burst on movement speed. Oh, almost past the Sonic, uh, the Solar Flare rather. Comes down, slows him up. That should be enough to uh, not take away another kill, but Warrior Lady is coming in from behind up at the top lane. This is being uh, countered by a mid lane push, but Libic has been caught out here by Warrior Lady. Flashes over the wall, sapling for the vision as well. Can they get in range though? Dominant over the wall, will follow with all this damage. And the face of the mountain trying to keep him alive. He's just going to be the sacrificial lamb, trying to take up as much time as possible for the mid lane as they are trying to take this inhibitor turret. They've, it's gone down, they're going for the inhibitor. Mage Bane, Kubon comes in from the side, Wallop comes down, Mage Bane gets taken out, and they're trying to pick up this kill onto Nah, but his job is done. They've, he's distracted them from the Baron. That is a, a massive push here into the inhibitor. And Reason don't look like they're even stopping here. Dominant hasn't recalled. What are Reason doing? They're still pushing into the base. This could be a Nexus turret going down. No, they have to turn. There is no way they can actually take this. And, and on Psycho, that, that, ooh, that, that kick. kick. That kick was perfect from Zayu. Her in the top lane, no take from this respawn from base. Dominant will be cleansing out of the way of the Chum the Waters. There will so be that they can that. defend this turret but Different Dimension have not seen the Baron attempt yet. And we spoke about their vision game this game, and it's still lacking despite actually having advances earlier on. This is going down very quickly, and it will be taken away. Kick over the wall into Red Buff, and Red Buff spawns as well, so he can't even power ball back to the pit. That's taken away. Such a good play by Zayu. Now the Chum the Waters comes out to pick up even more, but it doesn't matter. The job is done. Reason Gaming take Baron. At the same time, Zayu pick at this stage in the game to be catastrophic for honestly either team warrior lady on the offensive flashes over the wall uses twisted advance onto living maybe not the target you want to be assassinating but you have these big threats on the side of reason gaming solar flare comes in gets the stun down onto dominic kubon now in mega form the perfect time to strike and on psych will be the first to fall the front line is evaporating from dd warrior lady can't stick around but dominant takes down leona here's the turnaround everyone is so incredibly low by reason gaming different dimensions look to follow up but can't get in range as Seliver comes in and tries to tag them on the way out. The position for that fight from Different Dimension was superb. They had Maokai right at the front with the damage reduction. This might not be over but they had a, such a good fighting position because nobody could get to Dominant again, but Kubon! Oh, Kubon has teleported in from behind and looks for this engage to happen. Here comes John the Watered, but he already drops. Shutdown now comes in for Kubon. He is so damn tanky. Here comes the Mega Form, and now he will not be able to be taken down. Crunch over the wall, and he took out Dominant. He got his target. Oh my goodness, that teleport. They got it, though. 8-1-5 and five now, the scoreboard reads for Dominant and... If he falls early on and doesn't take out Reason Gaming, then uh, RG are going to put a notch in the one column. Oh, Warrior Lady has been caught out, but this is the front line in the place they need to be. But Mage Bane is nowhere near, and on Psycho may drop before they really want to fight. Now Ari is in the fight. Zayu gets dropped. This is one kill in advance of 2DD. No ultimate hit free. Lands the wall upon the free as well. The whole team disintegrates. Four for one. Make that five for one. Warrior Lady, only one is still alive. Triple kill to take fun. And this will be the game for Reason Gaming. Kill credit goes to Zayu on that one. Straight into the back of the fight bypasses every bit of the crowd control from different dimension and kicks dominant right into reason gaming and from there that is an easy cleanup for reason gaming credit to them for getting that kick through but that is only game one of this series it is and now it's just housekeeping from reason gaming 30 seconds on the clock for them and there is no way they cannot finish this game. What an incredible start to this series. But DD not out of the running. Now we have the Nexus falling. And Reason Gaming will be taking the first game of this best of three in round two of the EU LCS expansion tournament. Oh my. That was, uh, that was a great...